everybody. Hi. So good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you're watching this show, wherever you are. Hi. It's really, really great to see you. And I'm so glad that you are watching with us today. My name is Callie and this is the All Brand Show. Uh, we have a really fantastic show for you today. We have Anne Moore, a uh, So Steady educator here to chat with us. And she'll be doing a little preview of uh, another class that she's going to be doing uh, come July. So stay tuned for that. And as always, stay tuned for our $100 All Brands gift card. You are not going to give away. You're not going to want to miss that. Really excited for you to uh, enter into that giveaway. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and share this video on Facebook or subscribe to the channel if you're watching on YouTube. Those will automatically enter you into the giveaway for the $100 All Brands gift card that we'll be doing in about an hour. Um, so let's go ahead and say hello to some folks that are watching the show today. Um, Nancy Gonzalez from Puerto Rico. Hi, Nancy. Oh, thanks you so much for watching. Um, we also have Louise from Milwaukee. Hi, Louise. It's really great to have you. Sue from Norfolk, England. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much for watching, Sue. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, thank you so much from Ohio. Fly Baby Cat. Thank you for watching. Oh my goodness. Sue Davis from Chicago. Thank you so much for watching. Annette from San Diego. Thank you for tuning in today. Uh, let's see. Cindy from Shelton. Hi, Cindy. Oh my gosh. Um, who else do we have? We've got Heidi from Oregon. Hi, Heidi. Really good to see you. Um, Diane from Southern California. Nice and sunny over there. Good to see you, Diane. Um, and let's see, we got Janet from Mississippi. Hi, Janet. Um, and uh, let's see, we've got Stephen Norma Kaufman over in San Marcos, California as well. So really, really great to see all of you as always. Thank you again so much for tuning in. We have a really awesome show for you and I am super excited to get into it. So let's bring on our guest today. Hi, Anne. Hi, everybody. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. How about you guys? It's nice over here, nice and sunny, getting a little warm, but I think we can handle it. <laughs> yeah. Here, uh, this is the, uh, the first day this week we have not had rain. Oh, so that's, that's been wonderful. It's cloudy outside, but it's it's really a pretty day. The wind is blowing. Hopefully it'll dry things out. My husband's trying to mow and uh, he thinks he needs to attach a, a boat motor to the back of the lawn for us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It has, it's been pretty similar for us down here too. We just got through a bunch of rain last week, so it's been a little hectic, but it's nice to see the sun finally for the first time in what feels like forever. Yeah. Hey, all of you uh, customers didn't get to see this, but while I was waiting backstage for the show to start, I got kind of a tour of one of the stores and the ordering area and all that good stuff. And, um, I think I need a shopping trip. I need to go over. <laughs> yes. Lots of fabric that I don't think I can live without. Yes, so. y'all. We have we have so much fabric in our stores. I feel like that's something that not a lot of folks get to uh, get to hear about, just because we do focus on machines a lot during the show. Um, but you guys, we do have a ton of fabric here in every single one of our stores. So if you are near an all brand store, please go ahead and come check us out. We're here. We're open. Um, we're open on Saturdays as well. So pop in on your weekend. Um, we will be closed for Memorial Day on Monday. But just be aware of that. But come on in. We have tons of fabric. And I think we have some stuff and that you uh, that you use and that you have been using pretty often in a lot of your work, right? Yes, I think you and I had a conversation about it the other day. I love to use grunge because you get a two for one. You get a good solid side and then you get a side that's kind of looks like it's been painted on. So I am able to use both sides of that in my work. And I talked to Callie about it the other day and she said that, yes, they have a lot of it. So check it out. Yes. Yes. Um, just to remind you all, we do have six stores. So we have our New Orleans store. We, it's in Metairie. Um, we do have this store in Baton Rouge here, which we're broadcasting from. Um, we also have a store in Slidell and Lafayette. And we have two in Texas. We have one in San Antonio and one in the Houston uh, Clear Lake area. So hop on down if you are uh, near one of our stores and come take a look at what we got because we, we do have a ton. We have a lot and it's all some really, really gorgeous stuff. Um, Janet over in the comments said that grunge is her favorite too. So yeah, 
grunge is really fantastic. I think it's really versatile, which is incredibly useful for people who quilt. Like I, I really do love that a lot. Yeah, it's my two for one. I love it. It's just fun. Yeah. And oh my gosh. Many colors. Uh, one of the shops that I go to has the whole uh, little thing that you can look at. Uh, it's, I don't know, four or five inches thick of all of the grunge colors. <laughs> Good grief. Yes. <laughs> How There's so it? many. Yeah. You have a world of options. Sure. So, um, so Anne, I'll just let you go ahead and get into it. But if any of you watching at home have any questions for Anne, go ahead and drop them in the chat and we will try and answer those live for you. So go ahead and take it away, Anne. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to the lady from Michigan who called me earlier today to ask if I was going to be uh, doing something for all brands at 4.30 her time and i said actually yes i am so we had a cute little chat a few minutes ago and so uh, i'm hoping that she's watching and listening and uh, i hope she'll drag that fabric out and uh, start making some things with her rulers so i'm excited about that i have an interesting class for you today actually it's a preview of the class we're going to be doing on july the 13th i a few years ago a um, quilt pattern came out with So Steady and I actually caught it at the Houston Quilt Festival and was intrigued by it and loved it and it's the quilt that you see behind me and we'll be talking about it a little bit. I uh, made the quilt entirely, taught a couple of classes from it, had a great time with it and then I was looking at it again kind of this year and thinking I want to revisit that quilt because there's so much you can do with it. And uh, those of you who know me know that I like to put my own spin on a quilt. And so what I do is I will quilt out with my rulers uh, the areas that, uh, you know, the, where I would want to put the ruler work. But then I take the rest of it and I add my own spin to it, which is some free motion quilting. So I have done that with a few blocks with this quilt. And so I'll be taking y'all through those in just a little bit. But I wanted to show you, first of all, the ruler kit and what you're going to get with it. And this may be upside down to you. I hope not. Uh, if so, maybe they can let me know and I can uh, maybe turn it around to you. So bear with me a minute. I'm going to turn this camera downward. And we're going to look at this uh, set of rulers that I'm talking about. Okay. And I'll, I'll flip it the other way in a minute just in case. This is the uh, quilt class in a bag. It's called Continuum. It, it comes in this great little bag. It's called a Yazzie bag. And I don't know if y'all know about Yazzie, but I know about them because they show up at the quilt festival every year in Houston and they bring all of these great bags. Well, Westerly and Yazzie teamed up and uh, got a special little cute bag for our uh, ruler set. So you get that. You also get a set of instructions with the bag and you can watch this on uh, like a DVD player or something like that. You get pull these out in great detail and um callie let me know if this is upside down and i'll turn it the other way yeah and it's this, upside down <laughs> not a problem Perfect. i had much that it might be this is the project guide that comes with the bag here we'll turn this whole thing around and in it uh, this is a quilt that takes a lot of fabric we're talking um and it's a big quilt so it's something uh, I think it would probably go on a queen size bed fairly easily. There are 11 different patterns to this quilt, but there are 41 blocks. So you're going to repeat uh, all of them at least one other time. There'll be at least two blocks and a lot of them there are four blocks and one there are three blocks. So bear that in mind. We're going to go through maybe the first couple of blocks in the quilt on our class on July 13th. And if you guys like it, 
if all brands likes it, they want to have me back and do uh, the rest of the classes, I would be happy to do that. So let them know if that's something that interests you. Anyway, inside the guide, it will go into, and I want to go over this because you need to know these things. Here are all of the blocks that are laid out in it. And then there's a page in here. And this is where I'm telling you, it takes a lot of fabric to do this. We're talking um, about 17 yards of fabric. And that's for the front and the back. And then if you do reveal, which I'm about to show you in a little bit, you're going to need yardage for that also. And then the book, of course, goes through and shows you each block. And then step by step, uh, you'll go back to the video or to my uh, class, uh, virtual class that we'll be having and you'll be able to watch it and learn how to make that particular block. And so I'm just, I love this. Uh, like I said, it's the, it's actually the third time I have done this quilt. Uh, underneath me is a modified version of it. I did just a lap quilt. And so uh, it's sitting under me. I may get to show it to you. I may not. We'll, we'll see if we have time. I'm going to show you the templates that go inside or that go into this. This is a Spin Effects number 11 and uh, it is actually my favorite template. This one's big. It's a nine and a half inch wide uh, which means that when you finish it end to end it's nine and a half inches long. It's really big. And I, I love that, that particular spinning template. This is the Hearts of Plenty. It's a continuous border. And we use it several times in the quilt itself also. It's a really odd looking uh, template. But I think it uh, quilts out really nicely. It, it looks kind of funny right here. And it looks huge. But it makes a beautiful design. The next one is a continuous border. We use that several times in the quilt itself also. So you'll be seeing it several times and it just makes a really cute design. And both of these, I see people using them for their borders on their quilts outside of this particular uh, quilt. So those are great and they're good to have in your set of rulers. This is the sash lee, and it helps you make straight lines and keep uh, going straight. I like it really well. I use it a whole lot. Of course, you've got to have a spacing gauge. We can't do without that little guy. And then you have a six inch crosshair ruler. Uh, a lot of you have the eight point crosshair ruler, but this is the six point one and uh, it's very interesting the way it all works out and makes your designs look really different. So those are what come in the package of rulers. Now let's talk about the quilt itself that we will be working on and how this came about for me to do. About two years ago I made my daughters-in-law and me a, one of those travel bags. I'm not going to mention what brand pattern or anything, but one of my daughters-in-laws loves this shade of green. And so I found this fabric and bought it and used it with her tote bag and used it all up, didn't think anything more about it. Well, then I was at uh, one of the fabric stores uh, around my area and I ran upon this fabric again. And I'm like, oh, it's talking to me. I really need to uh, get some of this fabric. And I thought, you know what, that would really be good on that continuous quilt. And then I could put my own spin on it. And so I bought this. And then I thought, okay, where do I go from there? I've got to have several different colors of fabric. That's my own thinking, not you don't have to do this if you decide to make the, the whole quilt. You can go with, you know, a front fabric and a back fabric, which can be exactly the same, and then get your reveal fabric. And what I do typically is I buy my reveal fabric first, 
and then I will go from there and pick other fabrics to go with it. So while I was out looking for fabrics, of course, I ran up on this one. I thought, oh, yep, yeah, that would go pretty good with it. And then, of course, there's that beautiful red in it. So let's see if we can get this where you can see all of that. These are grunges, mind you. Well, here's the red. And that just went perfect with it. I hope you can see all of this. Let's see if I can get it spread a little better where you can. Well, then it needed some green in it. Here's my green. I thought, okay, now it needs to me something that's going to tone it down just a little bit because that looks pretty wild. Well, then I found this shade of green. And I thought, okay, all of those to me tied together beautifully. So I went ahead and bought all of these in the fabrics. So let me move these out of the way. And y'all be sure to let me know if uh, something is not quite in the screen or something because I'm not seeing it. I have a second, second camera I just got. I'm still learning how to put it all together and use it. Oh, and those fabrics are absolutely gorgeous. Aren't they pretty? The combination is so pretty. I know. Y'all have got some of those fabrics. Yes. Oh, my gosh, we do. Come to the store. We have them. <laughs> we do have a question. Um, someone on YouTube was asking earlier. Let me see if I can find that comment for us. Um, I believe it was Carol Lombard. Yes. I uh, was wondering, is the quilt behind you done with grunge as well? It is not. This one, uh, and I can't even remember, I want to say it was maybe Moda Marbles or something like that, but it does have that same kind of, of a, kind of too, it's kind of a mottled effect. Mm -hmm. So you'll see little lighter pieces in here and darker and all. And at the time I did this, I was at a shop and I saw this blue and I said, okay, I want that. That's got to be my background or my back fabric, yeah. but then I picked it and used it for my uh, fashion to go in between. And then this came up and said, I said, that, that's got to go with it. So uh, it's a huge quilt, but uh, yeah, it takes a lot of yardage to just. just yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but the details are so stunning. I mean, the thread, you, you can see all of the work so well. I mean, it is gorgeous. I'm glad you asked about that because of course, as being the instructor, I need all of my students to be able to see my work. Mm -hmm. So I have to use a contrasting thread, or I do, because I want you to be able to see it really easily. So I use a contrasting thread, which was the navy blue in this case. Mm -hmm. uh, I do recommend that my students, when you are just starting out doing ruler work, I would probably go with tone on tone, meaning if I were using a red fabric, I would probably use a red thread also. That way, if you do make a mistake in it, and believe me, it's going to happen. I can't tell you how many times on this particular one that uh, I had to rip something out because if you're using contrasting thread, it's going to show. If you're using tone on tone, not so much. Uh, if I made a bobble or something somewhere doing tone on tone, I'll leave it. I, I don't go back and change it unless when I get through with the work, if it's really glaring at me, then yeah, I would go ahead and take it off. But um, so that, that's just a little piece of advice that I can give you. Uh, but it also happens to look beautiful. Uh, here's a piece that is really, really simple. But as you can see on the top, I, I used red tone on tone. But you can still see the quilting. It still, to me, looks great. And yeah. I chose red as my thread throughout. So on the bottom piece, uh, it's gray with the red threads. And it looks great. And yes, so that is stunning. Beautifully. So you don't have to worry about that. So it looks like we have a few other questions from some folks watching on YouTube. Um, Dawn wants to know, is the, the continuum quilt, uh, the class in a bag, is this a beginner with rollers quilt? You know what, I think it can be used for beginners because how I start you out is with two of the ones like I just showed you. Those, I would call those my beginner ruler pieces. And I'll start you out with those. And then I'm going to move on to the other ones. What I suggest to my students is 
get some fabric. I know you've got some in your stash that you bought and said, hey, I can't live without this. And then you got it home and you looked at it a, you know, a week later and said, what was I thinking? I don't have anything that goes. That goes. Trust me, I have some. We always do. <laughs> but take those and cut them into squares and use them in practice. And uh, some of my girlfriends are making this quilt. We're all kind of making it together as we get together for a retreat. Um, we're we're known to kind of retreat fairly often, and we live in a cup. We live in three states. So we get together whenever we can, and we're all making this quilt. And so um, they will, you know, they're, they're beginners too. Uh, one of them especially is a, a beginner, but she's doing a wonderful job. And she's taken some pieces like I talked about and uh, used them as practice pieces just before she gets to her really good fabric. And that way she's got a little bit of a handle. But a lot of the blocks in this are pretty repetitious once you get to them. You might turn the ruler a little bit different way or you might, uh, there's a, you know, a different little spin to it or something like that. So you kind of end up doing the same thing several times so you get a really good feel for what you're doing. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would not be uh, worried about having a beginner in my class at all. Awesome. Okay. So we're getting a question there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there's those are great questions. Yeah, we have a few. Um, Stephen and Norma Kaufman are wondering, is this a class? And um, y'all, this is just a little sampler of another class that Anne is going to be doing July 13th. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we have a little overlay, just a little advertisement for that. Um, it is going to be July 13th. Um, we are going to be doing it at 1 p.m. Central Time, and Anne is going to be running that class. Um, so if you really like the stuff that you're watching and that you're seeing right now, you should definitely sign up for it because it is going to be really incredible and really fun. I mean, look at the finished product. It's gorgeous. Um, and we had another question from, let's see, I think it was Carol Lombard again, was wondering um, what thread do you recommend? The type and the weight. Awesome. That's a great question. I use a 40 weight thread and uh, when I was doing the little um, shopping trip through all brands uh, a few minutes ago before uh, the, the, uh, the Facebook Live started. Uh, they have really good quality threads. So I would not hesitate to offer any of those, uh, you know, go in and see what they have. My threads happen to be embroidery threads because I have the easiest access to embroidery threads, mm -hmm. but we use them all the time in our work. And so 40 weight, embroidery thread, a color that's fun to you, pick it out. Yep. Go for it. Yes. And we do offer our threads online. Obviously it would be a little difficult to fabric match that thread if you want to do uh, light colors um, because we do sell our fabrics on, uh, in store only. Um, but if you do, if you are curious about all of the fabrics that we are, the threads, I'm sorry, that we have at our stores, definitely pop by, take a look at the website. We have plenty, plenty, plenty. Um, and let's see, we had, Another question, uh, Stephen Norma Kaufman, we're wondering, is this class available to watch forever? And yes, this one is. This one is going to be available online forever and ever, amen. You can watch it whenever you like. So uh, that is A-OK. -okay. As soon as we go off the air, the playback will be up on our YouTube channel and our Facebook. Um, and then Norma on Facebook was wondering, can we see what Anne has used as a backing? Absolutely. <laughs> Same stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you know what? If you have enough of it, wouldn't this be fun? Oh, that would be so stunning. Oh, my gosh. It would be beautiful. I was not fortunate enough to get that much of it. So I did not want to use it for a backing just because of that. But uh, let me show you another block. Yeah. Uh, and remember, I told you I kind of like to put my own spin on things and mm -hmm. kick it up a notch. Well, I'm going to put this in front of my face and show it to you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look at that, you guys. Wow. I'm going to show you in class how to do it's that. Stunning. And you don't have, I, you know, I did all of this 
this background work. I'll just bring it up closer to you. I did all of this background work, but if you would rather go with what's on the pattern and just make it simpler, you can. Uh, let me see if I can find this block. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's over to the side. It just, um, I don't know if I can, let me see if I can wheel this around where enough that you can see. No, not really. <laughs> anyway, it's just, it just had straight lines in it. So I left the straight lines out. Now, here's another one of the blocks. Uh, this is going to be a really simple one to do. Uh, let's see. Oh, but the contrast is so gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. And that's just some of that neat fabric that I found. I have another one I'll show you. And this one um, is actually right behind me right here. Well, this is, I think that's it. No, it's not. It's up at the top, of course. It's way up there. Let me see if I can get this up where you can see it <laughs> without flipping anything. <laughs> uh, it's right up here. I don't know oh, if wow. you can see that or not, but I'm going to show it to you in uh, what I call my own spin. Here it is right here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, fun fabric. So what I've done is layered it and I'll, let me turn this downward so I can really yeah this off of my face and talk about what we're <laughs> talking about. Here. Not my face. It's the cool thing. Okay. This is, uh, here's my backing fabric. Of course you can kind of see in between here. I've got my batting and I just have a regular batting. Um, it's just a nice weight. That's all there is to it. And then I have my, uh, let's see if I can pull a part of it. Nah, I probably can't. Uh, then it would have on that top layer would be my uh, reveal fabric. And then on top of that, I've got a layer of uh, the grunge. And then when I'm all done with all of my quilting, I come in with a pair of scissors. And I use a really good pair of scissors that have a serrated edge. And I'm pretty sure your store probably carries those. Yes. And um, they're they're wonderful. They get in here and really grip your fabric so that you can cut it out. Well, then I choose what I want to reveal. Cut it all away. I've got this beautiful reveal behind it. Uh, and the reason I love to do this so much is because in the work that I do, it's really hard to have quilting show up on a printed fabric mm -hmm. unless you use something like a really contrasting thread. Well, if I do this, I get my printed fabric in here. It shows up beautifully, but so does my quilting. And so that's why I do it that way. I, I just I love the effect that I get with it. And I'm, I can't wait to see this entire quilt finished. And then, of course, here's my own spin. I put uh, mm -hmm. just some very simple stippling. Um, the one I showed you a few minutes ago, that one was fairly complicated. And I swore I would never pebble something that big again. So uh, this particular piece is going to become a table runner. And when I do this piece again, it's probably going to have something a little simpler to it. Wow. But, uh, unless I just really lose my mind and say, you know, <laughs> maybe I could go for it. Because um, it takes several so, hours to do that much pebbling. Wow. So we have a few questions. Um, Dawn over on YouTube is wondering, uh, do you show how to, the con how to connect the blocks together in the class? I won't on this particular class, but like I said, if you guys like the class, talk to So Steady if they want the entire series. Uh, yeah, I will be happy to. And and seriously, too, if we have enough time, yeah, I'll show you how to connect the blocks. But yeah. you can also, when you get your ruler set, you've got a video in there that you can watch and it will show you how to connect them also. Yes, and speaking of that ruler set, Speaking of the ruler set, Sharon was wondering, where can we find out which ruler to buy? Sharon, I think you may have joined just a little late. Like we had just showed the ruler set. So um, mm -hmm. we do have the continuum quilt class in a bag over on our site. And that has all of the templates in it that you will need to do 
this quilt um, and for this particular class that Anne is going to be doing on July 13th. So take a look at our show specials. They should be down in the description of this video. Um, if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, either one, and it's got all of the different templates in there and they all do all of this fantastic work. So um, yeah, if you do have any more questions though, though ah, I can't talk today, go ahead and drop them in the chat. Yeah, and seriously order the Continuum Ruler set. I, I One of my friends thought, well, I've got all of the different rulers, but when we sat down to make the kit or to make the, to start the project, she didn't have any of the rulers. She had the eight point crosshair ruler. You need the six. She had uh, one of the smaller uh, Spinifex number 11s. She didn't have that nine and a half one. So fortunately, I had two sets of rulers with me and she was able to borrow from me to go ahead and get started. So go ahead, order the set of rulers. I'll bet you there's a discount on the rulers. Uh, I think there's probably a discount on that page. So yeah, you want that set of rulers and you want that six point crosshair ruler. You want everything that goes with that, that, that set because it just makes a beautiful quilt. And I want you to see that. I've got one more of the blocks I wanna show you. I just think these are way cool. I'm gonna pull this down and let you look at this block. Is that not cool or what? And I just oh, wow. have fun with it. It's so gorgeous. And the hardest part really was, okay, what do I want to cut away and what do I want to leave behind? I could have actually cut all of this away and revealed even more of that cool looking fabric uh, from the back and probably still could. I don't think I've ironed it down and made it... Uh, permanent yet because I think I was tr still trying to decide what I wanted to reveal on this one and I know one of the other girls that uh, like I said one of my friends uh, there's several of us that are doing this same quilt when we get together and I think she chose and revealed and, and I'll have to tell you this one of the girls is doing um, she's doing a grunge type fabric that's a beautiful gold color and then she's got a K facet that she's used as her reveal fabric. Um, another one has like a dark blue and a dark purple that are her main fabrics. And she's using uh, this just really colorful print for her reveal. And then the third one, she has more, uh, they're more pastels. Uh, they're like a real pretty blue almost like a chambray and then she's got some pinks and some reds and things like that so she's doing several different fabrics in her reveal and uh, i can't wait to see them when we get back together again everybody worked on them when we were at our last uh, quilt retreat and uh, they're just coming along beautifully so I'm, I'm really excited about it. I want to show you some other product projects or products, but I'll get it in a minute, that you also need. Now, So Steady has come out with this recently, and I'm going to turn this upside down, and I'm going to turn this down where you can see it. Um, this is Templey Fuse. It's the best fusible that I've ever used, and I want to show you why I say that. Before they came up with Temple E Fuse, I was using a brand that I had bought at a store and I thought that it was working great. So they sent me the Temple E Fuse to sample and I put uh, a piece of their fusible and a piece of the fusible I had been using just on a sample. And then I took it and I cut it all away, revealed what I wanted to reveal, took it in the house and threw it in the washing machine put it on gentle, did 30 minutes, took it out, put it in the dryer for 10 minutes just to get most of the water out, and then just brought it out here and just let it dry on its own. This is the Temple E Fuse. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's still fused 
perfectly fused. It's not pulled away anywhere. Oh, wow. Look at that. Here's the brand X that I had been using. It's pulled away all the way up to my stitching line. And I haven't retouched this. I haven't pressed it or anything. You can also see right here, it's kind of fuzzy. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm such a believer in this fusible. It works yes. wonderful. And it that's is on the fantastic. website. Uh, comes 15 inches by 10 yards. Uh, it should do all of our projects in this quilt uh, with ease. And I yes. think we would probably have enough of it. I did not um, decide to re do a reveal on every single block. As you saw a few minutes ago, I some of my simpler blocks, like this guy right here, uh, you know, I really don't see anything on that that I, I want to reveal. And I want to leave some of the pieces solid. So I didn't, you know, there's no reveal on that. And you don't have to reveal every single one of them if you don't want to. If you want to, though, reveal reveal something on every one of them. And then I'm also going to use, uh, this was my, my uh, reveal fabric. I'm using it to uh, put my pieces together. I will also put use it as a binding around the quilt too because I think it's going to be really pretty to do that. Do we have any more questions? Um, No, I don't believe we do. Well, I will pull the quilt, the uh, camera back around to me and I will talk. I'll just kind of point out some of the, I'm going to get out of the way though. I just want you to see some more of this quilt. I just think it's fascinating. It was a fun project to do, and I am really looking forward to being able to do this for all brands. And like I said, if you guys really like it and you want more of it, or you know, you're going to get instructions inside the uh, quilt class in a bag kit. But if you want more, hey, talk to all brands. I'm, you know, I love teaching. I think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Would certainly you know add more classes if they decide they want to yes and we love having you Anne. oh my goodness oh thank you yeah, lots of fun but you can see this is that uh, spin effects and we've done one design with it here it is again this is that same spin effects let me grab it real quick here's the template and look at all of the different ways. Here it is again. Um, here it is. Uh, it's in a number of these uh, blocks. And it just depends on how you turn it, how you use it, that makes the, the patterns that you see. Of course, here's that continuous border that I showed you a few minutes ago. Uh, remember that weird looking one, that really wide one I showed you? This is it right here. Who who knew? Who would have thought that big template makes this pretty design right here? So if y'all ask questions, I'm happy to answer them for you. <laughs> well, and you're just such a good teacher. Everybody's getting their questions answered already. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I will say everyone in the meantime, while we are looking at Anne's absolutely gorgeous work, do not forget to like and comment on this video and share it if you're on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel because we are gonna be giving away a $100 All Brands e-gift card at the end of the show. Why don't you go ahead and put that toward that quilt class in a bag and then sign up for the class. I mean, <laughs> I think it's perfect. Yes. Um, I, we're, we're really excited to give it away. So make sure you stay tuned. You're commenting, liking, sharing. Those will all enter you automatically in for the giveaway. Um, but yeah, please keep going. And everybody's really enjoying this. <laughs> Me too. I love this. <laughs> well, um, the only thing I'd know to do is maybe show you again the colors that I've chosen and uh, kind of tell you a little bit again about why I chose them. So let me pull these back out of the way. Remember, I started with this fabric right here. I, I ran up on it. My daughter-in-law has a bag that I made her a couple of years ago with it. 
Um, and I just thought, okay, that's just, it's speaking to me. I've got to do that. And then I wanted to pick out other fabrics. So what I do whenever I uh, try to find fabrics to go, you know, with something like this, and hopefully you all do the same thing, is I look at all the different colors that are in here. And then, and also, see this little thing right here? That also, this shows all the colors that are actually in this particular design. And if you're stumped trying to figure out what colors would go with a particular fabric that you've picked up, well, look at this little guide that's on the edge of your fabric. Uh, there's probably, I don't know, 15 different colors here that they have used actually in this fabric. And every single one of these would go perfectly with this Volta fabric. Uh, there's a yellow in here, which I don't necessarily notice that yellow in here, but it is. And so that would be one that would go perfectly with it too. Now here's my red. Again, it's grunge. Oh, let me show you why I call this a two for one. <laughs> I love this. There's my solid. There it is. Is that cool or what? It's so versatile. It is. I, I love it. And I read somewhere that this is actually kind of painted on. And that's why you get that grungy look mm -hmm. to it. I just think that's way cool. So we did have some questions from oh, some good. folks. Sure. Um, Heidi on Facebook is wondering, is it possible to expand and make a king sized quilt? You can make this quilt any size that you want to. Um, underneath what I have here, I actually have it in a throw size, but you can keep adding rows and make it as big as you want to. You can cut off a couple of rows and make it smaller if you want to. Oh, That's perfect. the beauty of this quilt. It's made in in blocks, and then the blocks are put into sections. So, yeah, you can uh, make it bigger or smaller. And if you need to, you can uh, create your own border to go around it and uh, put a border around it. And I'll show you this quilt underneath. Anyway, I wanted to show you this grunge. This is my solid. That's my grunge. I love it. I'll show you these two, the other two. And then we'll go to the quilt that's underneath and show you that. Here's that really weird, you know, two weird shades of green that I just felt like went really well with all of this. So I'm using all of it in mine. I'm having fun. Now I'll pull this all away and I'll show you the quilt that's underneath that I made into just a, um, it's just a lap quilt, a, a kind of a throw. And I actually did not put it together as the quilt as you go method. I put it in first into a really large block. I used one of my machines and made uh, made it into kind of squares. I wanted it kind of cuddly because this is going to be kind of a back of the couch kind of throw type quilt. And it kind of goes with the colors that I have out here in the studio. So it's gonna just be thrown on the back of the couch. But uh, let's see if I can open it up some and show you what I've got. I decided it needed a border. So here you go, here's the border. Uh, I had a bunch of piano keys from another project and I just threw them in here to, to give some more of the colors from the, the, the actual studio. Here is uh, that simple continuous border again. Remember that great big uh, border I showed you earlier? Well, here it is again. And I just kind of did something on the end to make them all join. Uh, let's see if I can open this up some more. It's probably, let's see how big this one is. This one's probably two yards by uh, I'd say maybe 54 inches. Something oh, wow. Like so not huge, but it worked. So gorgeous. Here, I'll go ahead and open it up this way. And then I just found a you know, piece of fabric that looked good for the back. It's got my colors in it. Here's that same block I showed you a few minutes ago. And this one is not done as a reveal. And this is the one that was way up high that I really couldn't get to to show you. 
a few minutes ago. So here it is again, and that's using that um, template. This one right here, you keep using this template over and over and over and doing the different patterns. Here's another pattern right here, same template, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. Here's a big one. Let's see if we can, let me pull this oh, around wow. so I can. Uh, that is stunning. See this one? Same template. Oh my goodness. It's just, uh, just the different ways that you would use it. And then so I did just want to point out to everybody, we've been working, uh, me and Jordan back here have been working to uh, get some folks' questions answered and get some links posted in the chat. Um, I believe that I mistakenly linked some of you to the mini uh, version of this set, which we also have on the category page. But I just wanted to point out to all of you, what the uh, the regular continuum quilt class in a bag looks like. Um, and Jordan, yeah, if we could bring that up. This is it. This is the set that Anne was showing earlier. Um, I mistakenly linked to the mini, so my apologies, my mistake. Um, if you would uh, if you would like to uh, do the class and get all of the templates for the class, this is this is it. This is it right here. Yeah, <laughs> please be sure and get the bigger set, not the mini. Yes, I do definitely have get the bigger mini. set. I have made the mini into a wall hanging that's really pretty, but that's not what we're focusing on. Right. So, yeah, don't get the mini one. And I, I think we had a question. I think we had a question earlier today about the difference between the two. It is, ju I, I believe it's the same set. It's just smaller. Um, yeah, that's, that's the, the only difference. Yeah, the templates are way smaller and you will not get the results for this big quilt yeah. that you're looking for. Uh, it would take, uh, instead of 41 blocks, it would take you probably about 82 to 120. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, a lot more work for yourself. <laughs> a lot more work for yourself. Um, yeah. So we did have some folks asking where we can, uh, where they can sign up for the class. We don't have the sign up ready just yet since it's July 13th. But if you do subscribe to our newsletter, um, go ahead and do that. Because if you do that, we will send emails. We send emails every Monday, um, can't remember the day of the week, but we do send out emails and we will let you know when the class, uh, when the sign up is live and then you can go ahead and sign up then. And yes, there is the link for the quote class in a bag. So if you do want to purchase this and you would like to sign up for the class in the future, please go ahead and pick that set up. It comes with that bag too, which is fantastic. Um, and yeah, we also had some folks asking, Anne, if you wouldn't mind showing off the template set again, because some folks did join late and didn't get the chance to see it. Absolutely. Let me put this black cloth back down. Absolutely. <laughs> see. Okay. And I'll just kind of start and go at it backwards. This is the spin effects number 11. It's a 9.5. It's huge but it makes the most beautiful patterns and it's a must have. Spin effects number 11 is actually my favorite set of rulers. And uh, they're so popular now that they come in pretty much every size out there from 11.5 all the way down to about a 1.5. So, um, but this comes in the set and trust me, you want to get the set because you don't want to try to get all of these on your own. It's a little more expensive if you do it that way, if you buy it uh, all individually. But also, you don't get the instructions that you're going to get in the set. So I'm going to pull these up and bring them all up and to one at a time and show you. You get a spacing gauge. And okay, yeah, maybe you already have a spacing gauge. Well, that's okay. Put one of them in your travel bag and put the other one with your sewing machine. I have several and I'm always misplacing them. So it's a good thing to have. Uh, when you get this, put a little piece of ribbon in here and probably hang it over your uh, bobbin winder or whatever, something that uh, is easy for you to find so you don't lose it. 
uh, and the clear ones, they match every floor out there and you don't want to drop it. So you might even want to look at getting one of the Sarah Diddy little necklaces that we've got. On, it should be on the website and you can actually loop it. Uh, there's a loop thing that you can put on there and you can loop it through and you can wear this actually around your neck. And that's really handy. Uh, that's the way I do mine because I'm bad to lose stuff. This is the uh, Line Works Sash Lee Quilt Tool. It helps you travel in a straight, straight line. This is great if you are ditch stitching something or if you just need to go in a straight line uh, You because your uh, ruler foot is right inside here. It keeps you from having the bobbles that you might have if you are uh, like sash quilting or uh, stitching in the ditch or something like that. So great tool. This is the continuous border. It's two inch by two inch loop. Uh, you saw it several times on the quilts that I was showing. It's uh, just a wonderful border tool. Uh, I would use it on any of my borders. Uh, it makes a beautiful beautiful design and a little trick that y'all don't know about is you can actually put do a row of these and then flip it around and do a mirror image and match up your points it makes a beautiful wider border it's really pretty here is the hearts of plenty continuous it's a four inch it's it's actually two by four it looks really fun and funky but it makes a beautiful border and then this is a must-have I also have this in the 12 and a half inch size and I a lot of my blocks not this particular quilt but on some of the other quilts I work on my blocks get cut to 12 and a half inch square and so I use uh, the 12 and a half inch uh, six inch and it's a 60 and a 30 degree crosshair ruler so it's very very important yes also, these are indispensable tools you guys yes. absolutely indispensable and i did want to point out really quickly some folks were asking if this was if this class is for long armors too and how thick the rulers are um so with the quilt class in a bag we have three options for these we have our low shank our high shank and long arm templates. So these will, those will fit uh, your particular machine. So whenever you do go ahead and purchase these, go ahead and make sure that you have that option checked off the one that is compatible with your machine, because otherwise you can't use the templates. Right. Absolutely. Uh, all of your templates come in this Yazzie bag and it's a zippered bag and it's got uh, a nice little storage area in here too. And uh, of course it comes with silica gel, whatever. Anyway, uh, you know, you've got a perfect little bag to store these in. And we know you spend a lot of money on your tools, on your uh, rulers. This protects them. It's, it's uh, quilted, so it's durable. You get with this, you get, uh, this is instructions on for the tools themselves and how to use them. I love that. I love it that you, whenever you buy rulers from us, you're not just sent a package of rulers and say, you know, thanks, have fun, uh, you know, see you down the road. We actually show you how to use the rulers. So you get that little guide. You get the project guide that shows you, uh, let's go to that page that I showed a few minutes ago that shows you exactly how much fabric you need and how you need to cut it. That's really important. This is a very detailed guide. And it shows you all of the blocks and how to put them together. Um, and then you get this video that goes with it. And Leonie goes into great detail. She's the designer of our rulers. She goes into great detail showing you how to make each one of these blocks. And so you get all of that in one single package. And then you're going to get me showing you how to teach to make <laughs> so there. <laughs> yes. Carol Lombard was wondering, does Anne give those tips and tricks in the class? <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I want this to be as fun 
for you as possible. And I want you to know all the little tips and tricks that I do that make my life easier. I think it's important yes. to give you my tips and tricks. So yes, definitely my class. Especially if you're newer to roller work. I know some of this can seem a little intimidating at first. I mean, maybe it's just me, but like when I when I first started looking at some of this, I, I looked at it and was like, what? This is a whole new world to me. I have never seen this before. Um, but it's definitely, definitely helpful to get all those tips and tricks from someone like Anne who has been doing this and knows exactly what she's talking about as evidenced by all the fantastic work that we've seen today. Like, oh my goodness. Yeah, I joke. I tell my students, yeah, well, I practiced last night. <laughs> <laughs> I practice a lot, but uh, I love doing ruler work and I love combining it with the free motion quilting. I always call my ruler work my bones. That's the background. That's the bones in my design work. The, the free motion that I add to it, that's just the fluff. You know, and, and you can put them in or you can leave them out, whichever you can. Right. Well, that's what I love about this, too, is that, I mean, yes, you do have the rulers and there is, um, especially with the class, you know, we do have very particular ways of constructing a lot of these blocks. But a lot of this stuff is still very, very much up to you. You can do the reveal if you want to. Mm -hmm. You can do some background stipple if you want to. But I think that's such a great thing about making this particular quilt your own. Like the options and the opportunities are really endless when it comes to choosing how you want to customize this and really put your signature on it. And that's what I tell my students. Learn what I do, but put your own spin on it too. Uh, come up with things, uh, your own ideas. And yeah. Teacher and and uh, you know, Westerly by me is a great place where you can post pictures of your work. Mm -hmm. I go in and look. I love to see what my students are doing. I'm proud of them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a mother. You know. <laughs> All these students are they're they're my children. You know. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, and it's so fantastic too. I mean, I think that there's such a a, a, a progression with sewing in general and especially quilting you know looking back at say like the first thing you made compared to you know it's been a year or it's been six months and you've been working at it and regardless you know nothing's gonna be perfect obviously but seeing that progression is very gratifying i think both for you and and for the person doing it as well i i think so too you're absolutely right and i'll go back and look at some of my beginning work and think Wow, <laughs> you have come a long ways. Um, yeah, it was, was a little, yeah, it was practice. I, you know, I get in here and I play with it. I get comfortable with it. Um, I can't use the tagline "quilting is my therapy" because somebody else uses that. <laughs> I leave my my studio is uh, across the driveway from our house, and I'll leave my studio in the evenings uh, feeling like kind of like a bowl of jello. I'm, <laughs> It, it relaxes me. Yeah. It, it's fun. It's so, and it's so nice too. I mean, it, it's really funny. This is, uh, this is hilarious. Y'all are going to laugh at me, but you know, I, I started working here a little bit over a year ago. And when I got here, I made clothes, I made clothes, I made costumes and that was it. And quilting was brand spanking new to me. And so once I finally was able to get my hands on a machine and just start doing this, I was like, I am in over my head. This is, I'm terrible at it. This is the worst. But you know, now I'm making little quilted coasters and like little quilted everything to give to people as gifts and stuff. Like I can't stop. <laughs> yeah. I, I came from the garment industry too. I grew up, uh, I started sewing, you know, the minute they let me hold a needle, which was not that old. But, uh, I, I found along the way, um, especially when I started making quilts, you know what? If the quilt doesn't fit the bed, you just put another border on it. When you're making all gold, good, it doesn't fit. You got a problem. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's so, I mean, it's so nice. And I, I'm sure all of you at home can, can relate to this. We all had to start somewhere, right? And I'm sure the first quilt that we made was not the prettiest thing in the world at all, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> but that's okay, because it's such a great testament to just how much we can improve, right? And that's what we're here to do. That's what Anne's here to do. We're here to help. And I love seeing that growth, you know, just within myself, with everyone else and folks that I see come in or share their work, especially on the forum um, or Westerly by me, like it's really amazing seeing how much everyone can improve in either in such a short period of time, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's very gratifying. It is very, very gratifying. So if you are curious about any of the products that we've talked about today, uh, make sure that you go ahead and shop that category page that we've got located in the description of this video. It should be in the description, both on Facebook and on YouTube. And if you did miss any part of this broadcast, that is a-okay. Don't even worry about it. As soon as we go off the air, you'll be able to re-watch this replay from the beginning. And you can go ahead and look at everything, all the really great tips and tricks and advice Anne's given over the course of this last hour. And this hour has flown by. I don't know about you, Anne, but this hour has just breathed by. <laughs> um, but, and again, thank you all so much for tuning in and staying tuned in. Um, and I just did want to remind everybody, we are going to be giving away that $100 All Brands gift card in just a few minutes. So if you haven't yet, go ahead and get your likes in, get those comments in, those shares, those YouTube subscriptions. If you want to go the extra mile, um, and if you do want to be notified every time we post a video on YouTube, there's a little bell next to that subscribe button at your phone, or we'll send you a push notification or uh, your computer. You'll get a notification every time we post a new video and we go live here every Thursday. Sometimes we do Tuesday classes. So just go ahead and stay subscribed so you don't miss classes like this. And if you haven't yet, um, please go ahead and consider signing up for Anne's class that she's going to be doing. Uh, that is July 13th. And it is going to be the continuum quilt class in a bag. It's on Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central. And Anne is going to be showing us this uh, really awesome, really, really awesome quilt. So I'm very excited for y'all to see that. And I'm so happy that we got to do this today. Anne, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you for asking. Yeah. This has been, this has been fun. So let's see if we've got any more questions or anything in the chat. I don't believe we do. Um, everybody has just been really enjoying this. Christy says it's been very, or Cindy, I'm sorry, has said it's been, it's very educational. Carolyn Weiner said, thank you. Such good information. Same thing from Carol. This has been a really informative hour and I'm so glad that we can do this for all of you. Um, Carol is wondering, so the pattern for the quilt is included. And yes, that is uh, included in the continuum quilt class in a bag. Um, so that that's all there. Um, go ahead and shop on our category page for this product or for this this uh, this live and the continuum quilt class in a bag should be on our website. And everyone is very, very excited about this class. So as soon as we get that form up for you to register, if you're signed up for our newsletter, you'll be the first one to know. And I believe we have linked that newsletter in the chat. Um, let's see here. Yes. So if you want to be notified about future events, cause we will be doing more classes like this. And obviously, Anne, we would love to have you back for some more classes. Cause this has been, this in and of itself has been great. And I can't wait to see what the class is like. So if you would like to be notified, please sign up for our newsletter that is up and available. Um, and Nancy was wondering, why can't I add the quilt in a bag to my cart? Nancy, we're working on that. Um, the link that you're looking at right now could be the online educational course that we also have linked. Um, so try again. We, we can link that, uh, that page again for you in the chat um, so you have it. Um, and it looks like we don't really have any other. Oh, I'm sorry. Joe is wondering the kit includes the pattern and CD. And yes, it does include like a DVD. You can pop that in a DVD player, a laptop, if it has a DVD drive on it, um, anything just that reads DVDs, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, so, but yes, Nancy, we will link that. Uh, we'll get that link for you in the chat. We're working on that right now. Um, but I guess I think it's time for us to go ahead and pull our 
$100 All Brands gift card giveaway winner. So uh, let's see if we can pull a random name from the chat and we will display that in a second. Let me get a drum roll going here. And our winner is Veronica. Veronica, who is watching on YouTube, congratulations. Veronica, you have just won a $100 All Brands e-gift card. So if you would, um, please go ahead and send us an email with your name, your phone number, and your address to claim your prize, and we will get that out to you. Thank you so much for watching, Veronica, and congrats. Um, congratulations. So, wow, and that's again, awesome, Veronica. Yes, and I'm telling you, you could you could use it on the continuum quote class in a bag. I'm not telling you how to spend your money, but just a recommendation. Just a recommendation. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all again so very much for watching. And Anne, thank you so much for being on the show today. We've all learned a whole lot today. I think I speak for everybody, or I can speak for everybody when I say we've all learned a ton today. And it's been really fantastic. I love teaching. It's so much fun. I love to see that yeah. light bulb go off uh, over your head. Yes, yes. So, so thank you all so very much for watching yet again. Uh, this has been an all brand show. Please go ahead and sign up for our newsletter if you haven't yet. If you haven't liked us on Facebook yet, go ahead and do that as well. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're working really hard behind the scenes to put out more YouTube content for us. So, you know, we'll be doing tips and tricks for new products. We'll be unboxing some new products, which we've recently done in the last couple months. And uh, we will be really putting out some more stuff in the coming weeks. So I'm very excited to see what, uh, very excited for y'all to see what we've been working on because we have been cranking out some really, really awesome stuff. Um, Sandy on Facebook was wondering, what was the ruler collection again? And the ruler collection is the continuum quilt class in a bag, not the mini set, the continuum quilt class in a bag. Um, that is the one that Anne's going to be using for the clash July 13th. So if you want to sign up for that, um, please go ahead and do so. The, the quilt class in a bag comes with the instructions. It comes with a DVD um, and it comes with all of the templates that you will need to create that absolutely gorgeous quilt. So with that said, uh, I think yeah, we've gone over a little bit. So this is the All Brand Show signing off. Um, thank you all again so very much for watching. Um, Veronica, please send us an email at events at allbrands.com. And congratulations again. Um, this is the All Brand Show signing off. And thank you again so much for watching. And thank you for being here. And we will see you all again next week. All right. Bye, Bye everybody. everybody.